look into. So uh, what's one way to differentiate atelectasis from a pneumothorax, right? Because if you have a pneumothorax, maybe you just intubated somebody who has a pneumothorax and they're not going to have sliding lung, right? So there's always that possibility. Does anybody know a way you can differentiate pneumothorax from just a main stem, one ultrasound finding? Anybody? Anybody heard of a lung pulse? Anybody know what a lung pulse is? So where you can actually see vibrations of the pleura, right? And you're seeing conductions from, from the beating heart, the vibration going through the lung out to the visceral pleura and in turn the parietal pleura, and then it's detected by the ultrasound. So you just see this subtle vibration there. You can also mimic this by taking a big deep breath and holding it and just throwing the ultrasound on your chest. All right, so you'll see this little vibration. It's subtle. It's quite subtle, but once you learn what it looks like, you can find that. So that'd be a nice way to differentiate the two. So that has a potential role here as well in terms of differentiating main stem. Again, I think it's going to take a little while for that to show up. So I don't know. Again, sliding lateral one may find something more interesting or find some, some better sensitivity there.